everyone, today I would like to introduce a new member of our VSR voltage sensing relay family. So a VSR or an ACR are automatically controlled switch that allow two batteries to be combined when charging and to be isolated when not charging and the current is drained from one of the batteries. This way you can automatically preserve a fully charged battery at all time, especially the star battery for starting the engine. So originally we have the VSR BF451 and BF452 DVSR. Today I would like to bring in a higher end version with more advanced features such as star isolation, auxiliary battery charging extension, and manual override. First of all, let's take a look at the overall outlook. The old VSR and DVSR has identical design with 69 times 69 mm square shape and the two M6 terminals located in the back so you will have to install the cable on your hand first and then mount it into the surface the SI DVSR however has two M10 terminals and all configuration pins facing upwards allowing you to install the VSR first and then do the wiring assembly clean and easy the housing is made of glass fiber reinforced nylon with at least 200 degrees Celsius heat distortion temperature. The transparent cover comes with removable side plate, allowing you to configure cables output from the side or the button depending on your configurations while still covering the other side. It is also completely sealed in the back, so it has IP67 rating. Function-wise, this SI DVSR is compatible with 12V and 24V systems, which means the open and close voltage is automatically configured based on the system voltage and dual pole sensing. It can sense the voltage at either the engine side or the battery port. This is especially useful when you have an alternative power source like solar power at the house battery end. The SI VSR also incorporates a delayed open and close timing. So it will hold for 30 seconds to 2 minutes after sensing the threshold before actually combine or cut off the circuit. This will avoid the situation where a sudden voltage rise or unstable voltage near the threshold that may cause the VSR unwantedly to turn on and off frequently. It is 250M rated continuous and 140M intermittent with ISO 8846 ignition protection certificate, which means you can even install this in the engine chamber, potentially full with flammable gases, saving the cost of expensive cables. One of the main features this SI VSR has is the star isolation, which means it will force plug the connection during the engine cranking. This will help prevent engine cranking surge voltage from damaging the sensitive electronic loads on the battery side. The other useful features is the ABE auxiliary battery charge extension. This is basically a special mode that will lower the cutoff voltage of the VSR. For example, in normal condition, the VSR cuts off at 12.8 volts. If ABE is enabled, it will cut off at a lower voltage of 12.2 volts, which is particularly useful when the engine is often idled with low voltage output. There are also other advanced features like remote indication LED, manual override, and zero power storage mode. All of these making this SI VSR one of our most advanced VSR products in the market. If you need to know how to wire the SI VSR, and how to activate all the features, please check the instruction videos in the end of this video. Finally, we will have a detailed manual as well as all the accessories included to show you or your customer how to connect and activate each different mode. And if you want to put your own brand or logo on the packaging or customize the manual, it is also welcome. For example, you can put your logo or labels here. Just contact our sales for more information. So that's it for the new SI VS app. Let me know if you have any thoughts or comments and if, if you are interested in more quality marine electrical product designed and built in Taiwan, please like us and subscribe. We will see you next time.